Staying on top of your health is always important and there's one topic that more people were starting to talk about and is that and that is issues with your pelvic floor and how to take care of it and join, joining me now is Colleen. She is the founder of Awaken Pelvic Therapy and she's going to kind of tell us a little bit about you know how we can take care of our pelvis and different exercises and things like that. So Colleen tell us a little bit about how important is our pelvis and our pelvic floor to our body. So your pelvic floor is a group of muscles that essentially holds all of your organs inside of your body. It works to support those muscles, but they also have to be able to open and relax so that you can do daily bodily functions. So if those muscles are not working well, it can lead to things like incontinence, constipation, pain, um, and, and even things like back pain and hip pain that we wouldn't think would be related to the pelvis. Too. Yeah, it's so funny how like so many different pieces of our body are so connected and you know, you have that pain and you don't realize where it's coming from and what's the stem of the issue. Well, we're talking about pelvic floor. Let's talk about how we can better take care of our pelvic floor. If those muscles are really tight, then we need to learn how to stretch those muscles out, but also those muscles could be really weak, and then we need to know how to strengthen them. So it's really an individual um, treatment program for every person, and a pelvic floor physical therapist can help determine which is the best thing for you. But there are some really great stretches and activities that everybody could benefit from. Sure. Well, talk about some of the people that you help because, you know, more and more these days, and we've been talking about this, how women are dealing with so many different diseases like PCOS and endometriosis. So talk about how you help those individuals as well as those dealing with pregnancy. Now, when we have things like endometriosis and PCOS, a lot of times we can have a lot of scar tissue in our abdomen and that can pull and not let your body move the way that we want it to. In pregnancy, we really want to help women to not have pain. I also teach them how to deliver and reduce the risk of tearing so how do you push a baby out how can you help your body to relax well you definitely shared a lot of information uh, would you like to show us a few exercises absolutely. of what we could possibly do at home absolutely so the first exercise that I want to show you is just working on some of your breathing I've okay. talked about a couple times on why we need to just be able to breathe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one hand on your chest and then one hand on your abdomen Okay. And when you take a deep breath, I want you to, um, your hand that's on your chest, I don't want that hand to move. And when you breathe in, you're gonna fill the air up into your belly. So we're gonna try to take a big deep breath in, filling up your belly, and then you're gonna exhale. And that air's gonna come back. Let's try it one more time. We're gonna take a big deep breath in and fill up your belly. And then we're gonna exhale. So a lot of us tend to breathe from up here yeah. and working on getting that breath to move down here helps to regulate the pressure that happens in our abdomen. So we call that belly breathing. Okay, I was gonna say that's kind of like with singing. They tell you to sing, uh, exactly. sing from here versus up here. Exactly. Oh, wow. Okay, well, shall we go to your uh, yoga studio to kind of That'd do some great. other things? Absolutely. All right, thank you.